What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, yeah boys. And today we're gonna review a special card, 90 Fantasy FC Marquinhos. Now I know this card dropped a little over a week ago from team number one, but to be fair, this card is pretty expensive on the market, so I definitely wanted to drop a review on him. Height is six foot, medium high work rates, double three star on the skill moves and weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is mostly lengthy, 86 pace, 78 passing, 78 dribbling, 91 defending, 87 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with is power header on plus, anticipate on plus, intercept, block, jockey, and he has aerial as well. Now there's only one chem style to give the card. You want to give him the shadow chemistry style. Acceleration goes up to 92. Sprint speed goes up to 96. Everything in defending category gets maxed out for the most part, which is absolutely amazing. Interceptions, stand tackling, slide tackle at 99. Defense awareness at 96. He has 85 strength, 88 aggression, which is a decent combination from the card. 72 agility, 71 balance. With him having jockey on basic, is going to feel pretty nice for the most part because usually Marquinhos does feel pretty nice with his defensive jockey. Now, this card is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie Swizzy in a 4 3 2 1 formation as a right center back, right next to that team of the year, Rio Ferdinand. Now, by the time I'm recording this video, like I said earlier, Marquinhos is pretty pricey. He's over 2 million coins. Oh, no, he's not. He's close to 2 million coins. 1.8 to 1.9, but still, that is very pricey for Marquinhos because for the most part, I don't usually raid Marquinhos in FIFA, but this card is looking kind of promising. We're going to play these games in foot champs and see if that price tag is worth it. All right, here we go with game number one versus... I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Backline is pretty nice. Midfield is solid. And that attack is good as well. Player of the Month Sun. I haven't seen that card in a very long time. Very nice physicality. This man Marquinhos just bodied Hullet. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See how it feels on the ball. Jockeying. I should say turning. Not bad, not bad. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Nice, nice. Way to keep onto the ball right there. Nice. So, oh, does he keep onto the ball? Okay, okay. Not bad on the physicality. I thought he was going to lose the ball right there. Probably going to send him on a wide ball, and he does, but Marquinhos with a nice interception right there. Nice way to block that pass. Nice interception. To my surprise, Marquinhos is doing a great job defending since he does have Team of the Year Rio right next to him. Nice way to block that pass, man. This guy's locking up Hullet. Very nice tackle from the boy Marquinhos. Marquinhos! With the clutch goal, I don't know what the hell Marquinhos is doing inside the box. But that is absolutely clutch from the car. We do move on that. Uh-oh. This guy's trying to score a kickoff glitch on us. But man, that anticipate on plus is a fire. Nice, great defense. Way to get that OBY. Let's go. Good defense. Nice physicality. Way to not commit a foul right there. Let's go. Great defense from Marquinhos right there to not get LB wide. Nice. Great tackle. Doesn't commit a pen. Things you love to see. Let's go. Marquinhos did not get cooked right there. Nah, this man Marquinhos was tracking back and he was able to catch up to that. That was nice. Nice. Great interception from the card. 
and a great LBY right there. Nice, good interception, way to start this game out. Great tackle, nice and clean inside the box. Nice, where did the flick that pass, Marquinhos? Marquinhos is Rofo, and Marquinhos does deflect that pass, so we do take that. Nice interception, bro. This car it doesn't know how to intercept the ball. Nah, what a fucking tackle. I've never seen that animation before. Great interception once again. Nice. Good defense versus that new Rolfo SBC. Nice. Oh, he doesn't get the tackle versus Bobby Charlton. Nice interception once again and keeps on to the ball. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 90 rated fantasy FC Marquinhos. Coming around 1.9 million coins. By the time I'm recording this video, 2.5 million coins. On the PC market, we played three games with the card, three wins with Mr. Marquinhos. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that I am surprised, guys, on how solid this card is. I don't usually raid Marquinhos because he's only six foot. His body type is usually kind of weak, but that's different this year. I will say there's a lot of positive things for Mr. Marquinhos, number one. Medium high work rates, great work rates for CB. Next is that he has very nice pace, 84 acceleration. 88 sprint speed goes up to 92 and 96 with that shadow chemistry style. This card never got wide ball. He never got LBY. That pace was very noticeable and that's something I did like from the card. And imagine with this Marquinhos, if he gets upgraded, then that acceleration is going to go up to the high 80s along with the sprint speed and that's going to be a problem for a lot of people. Next thing I like from the card is the jockeying. 72 agility, 71 balance with him having jockey on basic. His jockeying was always something I did like from Marquinhos, and this year, it's the same thing. He stays very consistent on his feet. If he needs to turn defensively to catch up to a defender, combination with the great pace and his body type, jockeying is very solid on the card. Next thing I like from the card is the defending. The defending is A1. Everything in the defending category goes up to the high 90s with that shadow chemistry style, defensive AI, top tier, Interceptions is A1, defense awareness, stand tackling, everything when it comes to defending from the card is solid, especially if you love to defend manually with your CBs. He doesn't really have that force field like a Van Dyke, Lucio, or Rio Ferdinand, and that's something from the card that I don't like for Marquinhos, and even this year, it is noticeable. He doesn't have that force field. He doesn't have that sauce like a Van Dyke or a Lucio, especially with the physicality. Even though the physicality isn't bad, it's not on the same level as the top tier defenders. 85 strength, 88 aggression is pretty solid. I will say that. He has 90 stamina as well, which means he's going to last through the whole game, even if you wanted to play him in the three-back formation. But with this Marquinhos most likely getting upgraded since he does play for PSG, and I believe he is not injured, a 92 or a 93 Marquinhos is looking like a problem for a lot of people. That's looking very broken. And he's 1.8 million coins. He does make the argument for being a top 10 CB in the game. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. Offers great links with PSG, Ligoon, and Brazilian. Arguably one of the best links in the game. Maybe you can substitute the Brazil with French. But still, he perfect links to Mbappe and cards like that. So the only thing I don't like from Marquinhos is that he's 6 foot. And that's just a personal bias for me. Maybe you guys enjoy the shorter, agile defenders. But I like my CB 6'2 and taller, so they get that extra reach. So they intercept the ball much easier. Like when you have like a Van Dyke or Lucio or Rio, it's so much easier for them to intercept the ball because of how big they are in game. Marquinhos, even though he has six foot, that's not small. You do notice that whenever we were trying out this Marquinhos right next to him was Team of the Year Rio Ferdinand, you did notice a little bit of a difference with that two inch difference. That might sound crazy to some people, but like I said, it's just a personal bias, so you guys let me know. He's going to get a thumbs up for me and a rating of a 9 out of 10. A great option to use at the CB spot at this stage of the game. You guys let me know in the comment section down below for those of you guys that try out this card. If you guys are a fan of Fantasy FC Marquinhos, thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. 
You guys are absolutely amazing. The next video that I'm going to go ahead and drop is going to be that fantasy FC Dembele. We're going to have to see where does Dembele rank among the best of the best. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.